This video is an updated version of the complete guide of Quick BMS mods. Hello and welcome to the mod installing guide on South Park the Fractured Bottle. So, the most optimal way of following this guide will be if you have the game on Steam. And if you don't have the game on Steam, you, you can still follow it. It will just not be as optimal. So, first things first. Let's begin with the easy install. Once you got your game on Steam, right click on it, properties, installed files, browse. Now what, once that's opened, click on camel, SDF, PC, data, and you got all the data files. Now what, what I suggest doing would be backing up all those files. Even if you're on Steam, since sometimes it may glitch and stuff. So to do that, it's quite simple. Just open a new Explorer window. And let's say, do something like backup. And now once you're there, Control A, Control C, go inside, Control V. And once that's done, we're gonna continue the guide. Alright, my backup just finished. So now that that's done, go back. And what, I, what I'd suggest doing would be pinning this so that you don't have to come back and do the same thing every time. You just have to click there and you got all the files that you can switch. Once that's done, you, uh, you will have to go on the Discord in the description. And here you got all the mods and stuff. And I've already planned a mod just for this guide. It's Household Warriors Restored Mutant 6th Grader Heroes. As you can see, we got the files. And so what you have to do is pretty simple. Get all these files, drop them here. And then it's gonna say that you have to replace files. So replace them. And now we can launch, launch the game and see what happens. All right, so the game just launched. I'm gonna load this save. And so once you get to your allies, you will see that both of them have been changed. So now that you're in battle, as you can see, the custom allies are right there. And I'm gonna showcase them to you. Alright. As you can see, it can heal. So let's heal battles. And the second one is practically the same. Now for the manual install, it's a bit more complex. So first off, just open your browser. It should be the first link. Then download this. And then do Control F, download this. We're gonna just pretend that I don't have this, okay. Extract this. And put that in there. You can delete this now. And once that's done, just get any of the mods that you want. And so I'm gonna get this one. There we go. Now click on re-import 2. Now select your script. The one that you just downloaded. This is why I told you to pin data. So select the first file that should be sdf.sdftoc. And then go back to the mod. And I'm gonna try with Timmy. Once you see Caramel, then you stop there. And now you just gotta wait. So I'll continue this once it's done. As you can see, it just finished. And now we can launch the game. Okay, I just loaded my save. So let's see what it does in battle. Okay, now that it's Butter's turn, we can use the power. And it should be the new kid. As you can see, we just spawned the new kid, and he can attack. So that's pretty much it. You can see that the mod is functional. He's immune to stuff, and he also has a power. So now that let's say that you just want to go back to vanilla again, properties, installed files, and you're gonna want to verify the integrity of the game files. And now if you're not on Steam, this is technically not an option, but the backup that you've just made, you'll just replace the files again. 
and for steam users you just have to wait once that's done and it should be good to go as you can see it just finished and it said 8 files failed to validate and will be reacquired so we can now launch the game so i had installed two mods and as you can see the game is back to vanilla again. So that's pretty much it. This was the mod installation guide for South Park The Fractured Battle. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a great day. And see you soon.